uh, your smartphone, which is one of the most sophisticated pieces of hardware ever made by the mankind, it has all the components to uh, drive a car, at least like especially on the highways, automate those tasks. So the, a phone has a great CPU, it has a great GPU, it has a great a digital signal processor, a screen, cameras, IMU, GPS, everything. So we thought why not uh, like make this system much more accessible so anybody can install it on their phones, use it for research purpose uh, and as a base system for people to develop upon it. So yeah, it's a compute unit. It can be anything, a phone or a laptop. It takes in images. It takes in sensor readings from IMU and GPS, it uh, generates a steering and control commands which gets sent to the car and the car gets controlled by it. First of all, there is a system called Open Pilot, which uh, like is an open source ADAS system which uh, has a pretty great community around it, people testing it out and stuff. So what we essentially did was we took the system, we rewrote in it in such a way that it can run across all the Android phones, Linux, Windows, PCs. So after that, uh, we took an auto vehicle, right? So uh, the older vehicles, uh, these have uh, certain steering wheels, uh, like you cannot directly send commands to it, right? So we took a steering column from more advanced car and we kind of retrofitted it into the auto system. Mm -hmm. So now the phone running this open source ADAS system, this is looking uh, on the road, the front camera is looking at the road. So this takes in the images, it processes it, and it sends the final steering and acceleration commands to the vehicle. So yeah, so that's how we control the car.